Welcome to Photoshop. And today we're going to take a look at how to convert a portion of your image into black and white and leave color. Now this is known as spot color, and this can either be done within Photoshop or you can find something in a real situation in which the background or the foreground is neutral and your subject or the background has color. Anytime you work in Photoshop, there's usually a couple different ways to do the exact same thing. Well, I'm going to take a look at this image and I'm going to go over and tell you the two different ways that I would tackle this image. Now, the first way is sort of a slow way and it could be more difficult, but in the end product, it's going to be really, really exact. So the first thing we're going to do down here is hit Command J and duplicate our layer. So we always have a separate layer to work on. I'm going to turn off that background layer because we don't actually need it. The next thing that I'm going to do is go to my adjustment settings, and I'm simply just going to turn this image to black and white. Now I can adjust this so I can kind of get my image how I want it to look. And we'll just assume that that looks good to us. Okay. We're good with that. Then we're going to go back to our layers palette. And there's two ways to do this I can paint in the color or out of the color. So in this case, I'm going to paint the background out, but I could simply, because this is white, I could come over here, switch my foreground color to black, grab my brush. I need to get my flow all the way up and I could simply paint the color in by painting black and that's going to reveal the color below it, but we're not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is hit command I on my black and white layer, and that's going to turn this whole mass to black. So right here, this black and white conversion isn't showing anywhere. And I'm just going to flip my colors here and I'm going to take this white and by painting over in white, I am revealing the black and white. So anywhere that I paint, it's going to turn that area to black and white and anywhere that I don't paint or brush, it's going to leave that in color. And so after time, as I go in here, it's going to be really exact and it's going to look good. Now, the trick with this is a couple twofold. One, you want to control your brush size. So I'm going to control, make my brush smaller or larger. And I also want to change that feather. So right now I have a really soft feather. And as I get closer towards the image, I want to make that a harder brush. So we're going to go up around 60 and I'm going to reduce my brush and you're going to end up zooming in. And as you get closer to the feather, you want to be more exact in what you're doing as you paint the color away. So the farther you're away, you don't need to be really exact because you're not close to it. If you have a large feather, what you will happen is right here on the edge of this feather, it's going to start to turn gray. So if I go over, you can see here, it starts turning gray. That's not what we want. We want a nice hard edge on that adjustment. And so we need to go in and paint. Now you'll notice I'm kind of stopping in this area. Let's go down here where we can see that color kind of coming in right up against that leaf. And I'm trying to make it as exact as possible. Kind of messed up that one little area. That's no big deal because you can always put it back in. Now I stopped here. Why? Well, because I need to make my brush smaller. I also probably need to zoom in. So you can see this can kind of take a long time. As I go, you need to just spend a lot of time going in and refining your areas. Now right here, I kind of messed up so I can hit the letter X, flip my brush so it's black, and then I can paint that back in. So we're gonna have color back in the leaf where I kind of messed it up. And you're just gonna go through your whole image until you've painted all that away. That's the slow, hard way to do this. So we're gonna take this image and we're gonna just go ahead and delete that adjustment layer. And we're gonna go back here. The next one is to make a selection of your image. So I think if we just go up here and hit select subject, it's gonna recognize this flower because there's enough contrast in the image for it to select it. Now, we have one or two choices. I can try right now because it has made a selection and it looks pretty exact. So what I can do is 
go ahead and make that black and white adjustment layer once again. And I forgot what I did. I think let's bring this stuff down a little bit. That looks pretty good. And we'll go back to layers. Now you can see it's turned this black and white and the other part color. We don't actually want that. We want the inverse of that. So I'm going to hit Command by I to invert it. And now we've got a, a more exact kind of cutout. And we didn't have to go through all that work of painstakingly kind of painting in the lines. But you always want to kind of zoom in and really see what that selection did. So you can see right here on that tip, it kind of messed that area up. It missed this area here. There's actually a leaf here, but I'm not, I might actually clone that out and not worry about it because it kind of ruins the symmetry. Right here, we might have sort of a soft edge so we can go in there and clean that up. So the way you would do that is, is very simple. You would just make your brush really small by either using black or white and either, I guess you need to get your brush. Command D will deselect and then we can just go in there and we can kind of refine any area that we see. I'll come in here, just kind of refine that and get that until it looks perfect to make sure all those areas look exactly how I want. And then I can zoom out. And just like that, I have color in a very specific area. Sometimes when you make a selection, the selection either needs to be feathered or refined. If you click on your mask, you can come up here to select and mask. And this is your refinement tool. So you can kind of go in here and refine it. So if I want to smooth this edge and feather this edge, you can see I'm kind of softening that hard line that we had there. So I will shift this edge a lot so you can see as it moves. So now you can see we've kind of moved that in and how that kind of fades and softens in. I'll move this back to zero and that's looking good. I don't really think this needs to be done in this image or if it does, it can be very small. So we'll just go ahead and do a little edge softening and hit okay. You don't have to go back in and do anything. It's just helping you refine that image and try to get it exactly like you want. Those are the two different methods that you go through when you want to isolate color in an image and turn the rest to black and white. Now, if you didn't want this to go totally to black and white, you can actually lower this. And as you just lower the opacity, you can change how much, whether it has all the color or just a little bit of color. In this case, I'm just gonna leave black. Hopefully that's been helpful. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.